What's up everybody, do right back at it again with another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about Ready or Not because I just felt that there was enough content to warrant a video, so I thought that I would make one. But before we get into that, be sure to like up the video so that more people can see it, subscribe if you're new, and ding that bell so that you can get more content on Ready or Not or any other game that I decide to cover. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So maybe you've been around the community once or twice and noticed this face. Well, it's actually just a dumb parody of a uh, Mega Mime meme. No bitches? Not really sure where it originated and I really don't care to look it up, but the devs obviously were parodying it and the community took it a step further. No update? No March update? Just to be clear, we don't actually know if the update is coming out in March just yet. This is just a meme. Nothing has officially been said. We're just joking around. So don't take this meme literally. But if you're wondering what that face is, it's actually the new character model for the main character, Judge, which is the character that you played during the single player campaign. They actually released a screenshot with text above the picture, out with the old and with the new. Eventually? Low priority currently, but cool to share. And you see another character off to the left there. A lot of people thought that that was Eli on the left side, but no, that's actually the old version of Judge, and to be honest, I've never actually seen him without a helmet, so I couldn't really tell. Dude has a big schnauzer. But yeah, it was confirmed that is the actual current build of Judge right there, and gotta say, I do like the newer haircut of the character model on the right, because the one on the left just kind of screams asshole to me. I don't know why, it just kind of does. But what I don't like about the newer one is the eyes. The eyes just seem very, like, scion blue to me, whereas the one on the left just looks very, you know, like regular those eyes look pretty unrealistic to me but i don't know i don't I mean, to be fair, I've never seen anybody with those types of eyes before. Maybe they do exist, but I don't know. I just feel like it's a bit too bright blue, like a freaking quantum blue. But maybe it's just the way that the light's hitting the model here. I don't know. I just think it looks odd. Not a big deal. Let's move on to something else. The next thing we got here is a video from one of the developers called Carry Arrested AI. Let's take a look at that. Get down! I want to see off. Down on your knees. Okay, okay. You need to relax. They put me up to it. Civilian cuffed and prepped for evac. Talk to entry team. Great work, entry team. Keep it up. Okay, so the first thing that I want to say is, what the hell's going on in the background over there? It's like a bunch of AI just like spawning in on each other. So obviously it's your character arresting this one guy that looks pretty normal to me, calls him in. But then he goes to the front of him and actually picks him up over the shoulder. He walks him around the corner and drops him off next to a bunch of other people. So this is actually pretty cool because this will be a way to get suspects or civilians that have surrendered out of the way. But I think the funny thing here is that they actually have a throwing feature where you could throw the civilian or suspect at something like a door or maybe a trap. I love how at the very end he just tosses him off the fucking edge of the goddamn map. That's freaking hilarious. In addition to these little videos here, he actually posted in the chat some extra videos of him actually throwing the hostage at things. I'll play them for you now. That's some funny shit right there. I would definitely do that, but the developers have said it is a bit goofy, so they might not do that sort of thing, but I kind of hope that they do, you know? Put an achievement. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Well, anyways, moving on to the next thing here, we got new breakable glass. One of the developers explains that the breakable glass has received a rework alongside being more performant as we are not procedurally cutting the chunks. It also behaves a lot like actual glass. This can be applied to different services with different tolerances. They have a video here. The glass that's on the right is the glass that's currently in the game at the moment, and the glass that's on the left is the one that they are more proud of. And might I say, it does look a lot better. They also have a second video here.
where it's showing like a bunch of bullet holes and areas where you shoot the glass so it's a little more realistic looks pretty dope not gonna lie aside from that little hiccup at the end there but uh you know games are obviously gonna have their issues moving on to the next thing here we've got a video of the developer showing off canted size for one of the scopes which you've actually seen in a previous video but now they actually show that you can actually do laser point shooting with pretty much every weapon now so now you know it's serious when he turns the pistol sideways all right, moving on to the next thing here. We got cover animation showcase. What you can expect from the AI soon, says one of the developers. Uh, let's take a look at this video here. Wow, there is just quite a bit to go over. So let's start from the top here. These animations that are off to the left here are called a side switch. They've got standing and crouching here. One hand to the left, one hand to the right, two hands to the left, two hands to the right. So they're kind of just like checking to see if there's like anybody there, I assume. They're like switching sides there. Pretty neat. The one that's kind of like in the middle is aim, exit, and aim, enter. So I'm not really sure what that means. I'm assuming it just means that they're just like aiming, aiming outwards to see if they can see anything. So you got one handed left, one handed right two-handed left two-handed right then you got like the crouching versions of that and each of these have like a second character model behind it because there's two different ways that you and the ai are going to be able to aim outwards i assume and obviously with the crouching you got multiple ways of leaning on the left side you got a and b looking over the cover kind of looking over the cover and ducking multiple ways to actually do this this is actually pretty cool and then you got the blind enter and exit which is him just blind firing in different ways so they got the standing or they're kind of just right there on the wall they're like shooting over the cover without poking out this is like a scare from tarkov's type of shit right here but yeah that's pretty dope that we're gonna get this eventually but unfortunately they said that it's not gonna come out with the march update they said that they're probably gonna delay it to possibly april i think they said i gotta look at that again yeah i said it right here dynamic cover system for suspects delayed until april thought i'd let you guys know he goes on to say it's about 50 percent done right now i can squeeze it in for march but i'm a perfectionist i don't want to push something that's potentially broken yeah it's probably for the best this is all pretty cool but unfortunately it's gonna be a bit before we see it and uh yeah so that's that's pretty cool can't wait to see it they also have a picture that's underneath this that shows the type of objects that ai can hide under oh they kind of took a page out of freaking zero hours book where they have like a bunch of suspects that are hiding under stuff we've got a guy that's underneath the pool table a guy that's underneath what looks like a couch people underneath tables that's pretty cool and the last new thing that i wanted to talk about here is the m320 grenade launcher that they just showed off the other day play a couple clips of that I feel like that was a bit slow, but moving on to the next thing here, the flashbang version. Down right there, it showed that you can actually check to see if the grenade launcher is actually full or empty. He did a reload animation, which was actually pretty good looking, not gonna lie. That flashbang seemed to go off more on impact than the previous one. Let's look at the next one here. We got the stinger. Pretty dope, man. Not gonna lie. And that's pretty much it for all the new stuff that they showed off. And, uh, yeah. As I was recording this video, they released a newsletter, so we're gonna go through that. It's from the very generous Guinevere. Once again, this is the March update preview. It starts out by saying, To the Ready or Not community, the February update has been out for over two weeks now, and the dev team is hard at work on more new content for the game, with new weapons, new maps, AI systems, and more under the hood. We're excited to provide previews of what's to come in March. 
Here's some of what you can see arriving in Ready or Not later this month. Ability to carry move arrested AI, which we saw previously. You know, that's probably going to be great for missions that have to do with like active shooters. So that way civilians don't get shot. You can like just toss them in one room or something. That's probably why they're making that carry move arrested AI system. New turn in place animations for both player and AI to allow more natural movement. Cool, cool, cool. Next thing we got here is bomb vests and suspects for civilians in certain levels and scenarios. The next thing they have here is visual updates and new mode for Twisted Nerve, aka Meth. Cool, cool, cool. All right, sweet. That's probably my favorite map, Twisted Nerve. New M32A1 grenade launcher capable of firing flashbangs or sting arounds, as I just showed off. I wonder when they're gonna add in the grenade launcher that they featured on their Instagram. Hmm. Well, anyways, full release of Penthouse, leaving the test map stage with vastly improved layout visuals and models. Ooh, can't wait to see it. Penthouse is a pretty cool map, not gonna lie. But that brings it to the end of all the things that we're going to get in March. Uh, honestly, it seemed like they were gonna make this like a much bigger update, but to me, it just seems like it's relatively the same size as February's. But, you know, content is content, right? Like, it's not a big deal to me. I was just expecting it to be a little bigger because, you know, they were kind of hyping it up, saying that this was gonna be a big update compared to February's, but I'm okay with this. Moving on to the last couple of things here. In addition to the above, we are working on laying the groundwork for an even larger content update in April. And the days to come, we'll be showing off more of what we've been working on. We remain incredibly thankful for the support of our community, and we look forward to continuing to make Ready or Not the quintessential tactical shooter for our player base. All right, and that's pretty much it for the update there. As I was uploading this video to YouTube, an actual newsletter came out, so I guess we're gonna do that. God damn it. The name of this newsletter is called Full Content Preview. Once again, brought to us by the very generous Guinevere, the community manager at Void Interactive. It starts off with saying, the March update is near. Howdy gamers. Welcome to the 26th edition of our bi-weekly newsletter. This time around, we'll be showcasing a sneak peek of some of the updated level art you can expect in the March update, and some new weapons you'll be seeing in April. Map updates. Twisted Nerve. Twisted Nerve has come a long way since our initial early access release. From untextured walls with limited prompts to a tense, claustrophobic environment that speaks to the world it's a part of, 213 Park Homes is in a state of decay, a microcosm of Los Suenos, and the problems that it faces. And we got our first picture here. It looks like a freaking meth lab. You know, it's interesting because we call it the meth house, and there's like no actual like meth station or anything like that. Well, now it looks like we're actually getting one. Woohoo, yeah. Can't wait to collect some evidence. Underneath the picture, it says 213 Park Homes Attic, home to the meth operation and countless illegal paraphernalia. Oh, so it's actually getting an attic now. Cool. And then we got another picture here showcasing more of the attic. Kind of looks like one of those houses that you'd see like out in the woods. This doesn't even look like a meth house, but uh, yeah. Underneath the picture, it says dark corners and rotting floorboards await you. You know, it would be funny if like you walk in a specific area and you just freaking fall through the floor. That's how old it is. But uh, anyway, we got a bit of the April update here. Here, it says new weapons avoid interactive we're fortunate enough to have incredibly talented animators modelers and audio engineers that bring the weapons of ready or not to life every bullet is lethal and has to be accounted for and we want that to be communicated to the player via how it sounds and how it feels to handle in april two of the new weapons we'll be introducing are the mp9 and the b1301 a renowned submachine gun and the sleek powerful shotgun respectively Ooh, you. They got a picture here. The MP9, fully outfitted for any situation it will run into. Compact, reliable, and classic. We got another picture of the shotgun here. The B1301, a semi-auto shotgun. Sleek Italian combat shotgun. I've noticed that the Italians have been making a lot of cool weapons. I didn't even realize. But anyways, now to the end of the newsletter here. In conclusion, this brings an end to our 26 bi-weekly briefing. A preview of what's to come in both March and April. We look forward to showcasing more to you in two weeks. And until then, keep an eye out for our social media pages for more information and updates to the game. And that pretty much does it for the newsletter. I just wanted to run through it quickly here because the video is already long as it is. And uh, yeah, definitely feels smaller than what they said it was going to be. But to be honest, it's not that big of a deal as long as they're dropping content, you know, keeps me and the community happy. And that's all that really counts. Just hope it's not broken. But anyways, so what are your guys' thoughts? Did you like this update? Let me know what you think down in the comments below because I'm gonna end the video here. If you enjoyed the fact that I cover games like Ready or Not, then be sure to like the video, share the
share the video and comment down below. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on Ready or Not or any other game that I decide to cover. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon or click on the join button that's underneath the video. Any donation helps. With that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.